Hey guys, this is Nacho Cheese, and I'm bringing you a game from Folsom StarCraft 2, Season 1, Tournament 1, and these are the finals. Now this is the first game in a best of three series between Nerdnik, who is going to be the Red Terran, and Muzzy, who is the Blue Zerg. Uh, let's take a look at their statistics. Uh, Nerdnik has above a 50% career win ratio versus Zerg. So, looks like he has a lot of experience against Zerg. However, Muzzy over here is the highest ranked player uh, who participated in this tournament and went undefeated in the group play. So, this should definitely be a very good, uh, a very high level game. Let's go on into that game, and without any further ado, let's watch some StarCraft. So, the map name here is GSL Terminus RE. And spawning in the right position is going to be Nerdnik, and as I mentioned, he is the Red Terran. Um, and up at the top position is going to be Muzzy, the Blue Zerg. GLHF going out from Nerdnik. We will see if Muzzy has any response. You too. I love that band. Love me some beautiful day. Some still haven't found what I'm looking for. You know, just good, good stuff. Now, in the early parts of this game, uh, not much is going to be happening. Lots of SCVs mining, lots of drones mining, this guy moving up and making a supply depot. So I will take this opportunity to talk a little bit about this tournament. Folsom StarCraft II, great tournament. I posted some of, the, uh, some of the other rounds. You can check that out on my YouTube channel. Uh, and a little bit more about me. My name is Nacho Cheese. Uh, you may know me as Ganon11. Or Nacho Cheese. That's pretty much all I go by these days. Had a little bit of a mind blank there. Uh, and you can find me at twitch.tv slash Ganon11 or at youtube.com slash Ganon111. I know that's really confusing. Twitch is Ganon11. YouTube is Ganon111. But YouTube's uh, Ganon11 was not available when I was signing up for usernames. Someone took it. So, if you're out there and you took my username, ah, Fists of Rage being shaken at you. And this is Folsom StarCraft 2. Uh, they are great. They, this is the finals from their first tournament. They are going to be throwing many more tournaments, so you can definitely check them out. Uh, go ahead, do a Google search for them. I'm sure you will find something. Uh, and they're definitely on Reddit. I know Nerdnik is on Reddit. He's the one that's been recruiting me to cast these games. So, both players are doing very normal things. Uh, Muzzy opting to go for uh, spawning pool first before he expands. And in fact, he still hasn't expanded. So this is a pretty late uh, hatchery for Muzzy once he finally does throw it down. Uh, he's opting instead to get very early speed and a lot of Zerglings out, and he will likely be using that to try and do some harassment. A really nice surround by those four Zerglings to catch that SCV and deny it any scouting information, and now the hatchery does go down. So Muzzy isn't going to be committing completely to just uh, Zerglings, just Speedlings, but he is going to have um, a good amount out already. Four is a really good amount to take control of the towers and just check things out, make sure his opponent is not doing anything crazy. A reactor going down and a factory at the same time. This is most likely going to be a reactor for the factory. Going to get out some Hellions and do some really good harassment. Uh, as you may know, Hellions are really, really, really good against Zerglings, at least until they get that speed upgrade. Now, that speed upgrade is 10 seconds away from finishing, so um, these Hellions are probably not going to do too much damage unless Muzzy really has a blunder and just loses loses his ramp and cannot keep these Hellions out. But there is the switch factory going down for the reactor. Going to be getting a good amount of Hellions out. Yep, two start popping out right now. And Nerdnik is going to be throwing up his own expansion command center, which is going to be spotted by this overlord. So Muzzy is doing a really good job at keeping some Zerglings around the map. Uh, he's going to know not only that this expansion is started, in fact, let's just verify, 
yep, he definitely sees that. Not only has that expansion started, but with this Zerkling here uh, dancing around the front, he's going to be able to see exactly when that expansion goes down, unless he decides to run up and get a Marine count, as he does, and then dies. But he did spot that there are two Hellions out on the field, so he may have a good idea as to what's coming. But the second switch, uh, bringing the barracks back over to the reactor, or will he? Right now he's just letting it hover there and instead choosing to push out with these two Hellions and just a handful of Marines. And Muzzy reacting very conservatively, getting a couple Zerglings and two spine crawlers, and that's going to be plenty to stop this from doing any damage. And I don't think Nerdnik planned on doing any damage as he is starting to pull back. Getting that blue flame upgrade. And look, Blizzard changed it. It's blue. It's blue flames. This used to be... I mean, yeah, it's the Infernal Pre-Igniter. Yes. But this changes the Hellions so that instead of shooting like red flames, they shoot blue flames. And so its proper name is the Blue Flame Upgrade. And it does increase their damage versus light units by 10. And Zerglings are light units, as are drones. Um, thus... The blue flame upgrade, which now the icon is actually blue, is invaluable against early game Zerg. Uh, or even mid game to late game, you can drop and just get untold carnage by killing lots and lots of drones. A spire going to be going down for Muzzy, uh, a bit hidden away from the main location of uh, Muzzy, and that's going to be good. That's going to prevent any normal scans from discovering that. However, Nerdnik is going to be pushing up. He's got a little bit larger of a force than last time he decided to push. However, Muzzy does have three spine crawlers here. Uh-oh, and here's the elevator drop moving right up past those spine crawlers. One is going to be moving up to the top of the ramp to try and pick this off, but these seven marines are going to be moving up and doing a lot of damage. They have to pull back and get the cover of those Hellions uh, in order to be protected. They've done about half damage, and now the Zerglings are going to be getting a great surround uh, but have to back off because of the blue flame, and this spine crawler <laughs> is a hero. However, it is going to be going down right now, and all those zerglings get a really nice surround, but the medevac is able to pick that up. However, here comes the push, and it just gets demolished by those speedlings as they get a great surround. A couple hellions have been picked up in the back, but there are just a lot of queens back here to try and clean this up. But now the zerglings are completely out of position, and so this drop is actually going to do a good amount of damage if he can stop dancing around this queen. Here come the Zerglings back in to try and clean this up, and they are loaded right back into the medevac, and that medevac is going to be able to scoot out of there without too many losses, and that's huge for Nerdnik. However, he did commit a lot of stuff to this attack. Uh, now, he did see the Spire in, pro uh, in progress being evolved, so, not sure if he had the micro to be able to click on that and check exactly what that was as it was being morphed in. However, uh, he lost a lot of units there, and his attack didn't do a whole lot of damage. If we look, yeah, he only killed one worker, and that may have even been a scouting worker. He's going to be dropping back in here to try and do some extra damage, but this Hellion has four... Uh, four health left, so I don't think it's going to do very much damage. They're actually just running straight across the map. Um, going to be trying to go for those easy, easy drone kills. And here they come. Will they get any more drone kills? It looks like they roasted one. Oh, but now the Mutalists will come in and clean that up. He does spot the third going down for Muzzy. Uh, and he does, of course, now definitely know that there are mutalisks out on the field. Usually getting killed by mutalisks is a dead giveaway that your opponent has mutalisks. So we'll have to see how Nerdnik deals with this. He still does not have Stim. Stim only now being researched. It's about halfway done. Uh, and he barely has any marines. Two medevacs. That might keep those marines alive a little bit longer against these mutas, but those mutas are swinging around the backside. Now he is getting a lot of missile turrets up. One is complete, two more in, completion, or in construction, another one on the other side. So it looks like he will be prepared for these mutalists when they come to harass. Uh, and a small pack of zerglings going to be claiming the tower. Here come those mutalists. Let's take a look and see how much damage they do once Muzzy decides to push in. And there they go. And they will be pulling back immediately as soon as they see that, yes, there are a couple missile turrets there. So that Mutalisk harassment is successfully warded off. However, as we see, Nerdnik is still at about a 15 food supply difference. 
Uh, he's behind, about 15 supply. And Zerg only has about 8 more workers, so that means 7 of that food is in army. Um, which is going to result in a slight advantage uh, for Muzzy. And of course, both players continuing to ramp up their supply. These Mutalists are going to be swinging around the map, trying to look for weaknesses that they can exploit. You know, for instance, right here. And holy factory! There are four factories out on the field right now, so Nerdnik is going to be transitioning into a very, very heavy... Uh, mech play, which I'm not sure is going to be great against this number of Zerglings. Now, Thors would be incredible against these Mutalisks, especially in this small number. However, uh, Thors are going to be really weak to Zerglings, and as we see, 38 more Zerglings popping out on the field in addition to those that were already in there. But a blue flame drop is going to be happening in the back. I don't know how much damage that did. Let's take a look. Oh, massive amounts of workers killed in that attack. Oh, jeez. That was... Alright, so that made up for the failed attacks earlier. As we can see, if we take a look at the income tab, he has leveled the playing field in uh, worker count. However, five more workers are going to be popping out for Muzzy, the blue zerg. And it did force Muzzy to pull back all of his forces uh, and get out of position. Now, these mutalists are going to be going out here and checking out this... Um, this... Uh... I have no idea what this is like a floating space factory making stuff. Anyway, we are seeing that classic mech uh, mix of, well, usually there are more tanks than this, but Hellions, Blue Flame Hellions that are so popular ever since MLG Anaheim. Thors, a nice amount of Thors, that's going to be able to clean up this number of Mutalisks, no problem. And, yeah, usually usually a couple more tanks. Um, and I don't see any tanks in production for Nerdnik. Here come the Mutalists. Going to be pushing in here. They are going to spot this third and are going to get a good amount of SCV kills and then run away. Now, one shot did go off and get a, three of those Mutalists and do a good amount of damage there. However, they are able to pull away uh, without taking any losses or really any more serious damage. So Nerdnik is going to be throwing down a lot of turrets. If we see, you know, five, holy turret, Batman, five, six over here at the natural. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six turrets. However, if it's going to scare off all these uh, mutalisks, I'd say it's worth it. A lot more at the main, which is almost mined out now. And these mutalists trying to get in here. I'm not sure this is the greatest idea, as they are going to get caught... This Thor is going to get off a couple of really good shots, gets two Mutalist kills before they swing around the side and try and escape. And this turret is going to be just out of range, so it's not going to be able to get any kills. Uh, and just a huge pack of Zerglings, Banelings in the mix, and those Banelings do have the speed upgrade, uh, which means they should be pretty good against these Hellions. Again, Hellions do extra damage against Light. Guess what also does extra damage against Light? Banelings. Uh, and Banelings are not light. Guys, guys, hold on. Hold on now. I could have sworn Banelings were light. I could have sworn that Hellions were good against Banelings, and Banelings were good against Hellions. And now my world is crushed. But here's the big engagement. Lots of Hellions moving up and getting surrounded by Banelings and getting absolutely massacred. But here is the rest of the force. All of those circles getting melted away, but the Banelings doing a great amount of damage, just melting away... All of the Marines that were supporting that force, but that is a lot of Thors. That is seven Thors. And even Zerglings, which are normally very, very good against Thors, just melting away. And we will have to see what Muzzy can do in response to this. He's got uh, a small pack of Zerglings over here, but I'm not sure that's going to be enough to stop this force. He is getting his Greater Spire up, but that's still 40 seconds away. And, of course, he would have to get Corruptors and morph those into Brute Lords to really help. Bringing in the Mutalists to try and help, but in that numbers, uh, Thors are just going to absolutely demolish all of them. And those Mutalists do just melt away. Uh, a Mule getting dropped for the repair. And now this force is just sitting outside, uh, 
going to be repairing it with that SCV, with that mule. However, this is giving Muzzy enough time to get a lot of Zerglings and a couple Roaches out on the field. Those Roaches are going to be good uh, against the Thors uh, in enough numbers. But here comes the attack, and he is forcing the engage. All those Zerglings just getting completely annihilated by the Hellions in the back, and now it's just down to these Roaches who are doing a nice amount of damage to the Thors, but they are going to get cleaned up. Here come the spine crawlers to try and save the day. The tank is sieged up, doing a lot of damage, and I don't think these spine crawlers are going to do nearly enough damage. Uh, and I really don't know what Muzzy can do to respond to this. As we see, he's down to 100 food against Nerdnik's 120. I don't see much else going on really for either player. A lot more Hellions getting pumped out for the Terran player. Uh, here comes the Queen, Hero Queen, trying to save the day, but that's just not going to work as more and more forces are being rallied in, and all Muzzy can really respond with are more Zerglings and just a handful of Roaches. And I really think uh, Muzzy is not reinforcing in enough time. Now he is going to catch uh, some of these reinforcements off guard and stop some of that, but here come more SEVs, and they're just going to repair all of these guys uh, so much faster. More and more and more Zerglings being rallied in, and here comes the attack, and that's just a bad rally point, as every single one of the Zerglings, except one, gets annihilated. Here comes the other push, but all of those Thors have been completely repaired, this one even gaining health in the attack, and all of those Roaches have melted away, and none of the Zerglings really got any damage in, and I really think Nerdnik can just push up and win uh, this game. Yeah, Transfuse is still not able to do much, although everything except those Thors was cleaned up. Five Thors with three SCVs repairing them, I really do not think Muzzy can do anything about this. More and more Hellions being rallied in. 30 more Lings on the way, uh, but those eggs did get completely destroyed, and with this amount of Hellions, the Zerglings are really not going to do any damage. Yeah, getting melted away really before they can even start attacking. I think this is game over for Muzzy. He's 60 food behind. I don't know why he's not throwing in the towel. Uh, this game is over. Now pulling, finally pulling all the drones off the line. Maybe he needed to do that a lot earlier, but still, it is to no avail. And there is the GG from Muzzy. And this game is over. Nerdnik went that really heavy mech play, and Muzzy just was not prepared. We saw he did get his Greater Spire up, but with no Corruptors on the field, and really just not enough Mutalisks, uh, he was not able to repel that big Thor push. And man, if you thought Void Rays were fun to mass, try massing Thors, they are great. Now, let's take a look at the results of this game. Um, both players incredibly high APM. Nerdnik was the winner. He had the average of 131 APM. Guys, I I could barely break 70, let alone 131. That's that's insane. Both workers or both players created a lot of workers, but as we see, Muzzy lost just so many more units. Uh, now because he is Zerg, that's kind of acceptable. You know, you can you can toss 30 Zerglings away, and it could be worth it if you kill. 10 Marines, uh, depending on the circumstances. Uh, however, Nerdnik really played a solid game. I would have liked to see a little bit more than just Mutalis Caress out of Muzzy, and I hope to see that in the next upcoming game. Anyways, uh, I will be casting Game 2 of this final Series of 3 in just a few moments, so if you're watching this on Twitch.tv, stay tuned, I will be right back. If you're watching this on YouTube, Go to that next game and watch it. It's going to be incredible. I am Nacho Cheese, and I will see you in a few minutes.